Hello everybody, welcome back to data visualization with Python laboratory. So in this video, I'm going to explain program number 6B of AC lab. Let us see the syllabus, then we'll proceed. The syllabus says that, the 6B says that, write a Python program to illustrate linear plotting using a, with the line formatting using matplotlib. In the last video, I explained you what is linear graph, why do we need and how to represent a linear graph. Yeah. So the same program you can copy and paste for this 6th B and what we, what addition we have to do here is we have to use this line formatting. We have to you know change the style of the line, the width of the line, the marker uh, colors, marker size, everything. Yeah. Now I will open Jupyter notebook and I will uh, type and show you this program. Here is the Jupyter Notebook. What I will do is, I will copy the 6th A program. 6th A program, you can, you first you watch the 6th A program, then you come back to this uh, video. First I will copy and paste the 6th A program. Here only I will modify it. Yeah. So I will just run this. I got the linear uh, plot the straight line. Now what they are asking here is, with line formatting, you add some uh, formatting to the line so here the line which we are getting now the formatting nothing but style width and all those things now where we are drawing that line we are we are plotting that line here so here we will see how to style our line so we have the different attributes for example if you want to change the style of a line we have the attribute called ls line style if you want you can type full line style or in shortcut you can use ls also is equal to you have to give the value i will just give like what type of line you want whether you want a dotted line the solid line or the dashed line i want the dotted line for for this i have to give this uh, the colon i'll run the program now you can see here the line has become a dotted yeah. if you want the dashed line then you have to give the two dash run it now you can see a line has become a dashed line now you, if you want one dash and one uh, dot then dash dot if you give uh, you will get the one dash and one dot and if you want solid then you have to give uh, only one dash then you can see here a line will become a solid line okay i'll use dotted only now we will see how to change the color of it we have the attribute called a color comma you have to give c-o-l-o-r color is equal to you now the value what type of color you want either if you want you can give the color names or hexadecimal value also you can give it or rgb value also you can give it for, for example i want uh, say red i will give the shortcut r or you can give red also anything is fine now i will just run this now you can see here our line become a red okay now i want to change the width of this line i have a lw line width is equal to how much let's like say i want 5 then see this line the width is a change i'll make it three yeah then now these points are not visible no now here we are getting one point now here 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 the points according to this uh, x value whatever we are substituting we are getting that points no those points are nothing but uh, markers so how to get those markers we have uh, a attribute called a marker marker is equal to now if you just give within single quote say if you give a uh, O it will show the rounded marker now you can see here the markers we got uh, based on the values the markers yeah uh, instead of uh, uh, the circle if you want say star you can give the star here now you can see the markers in the form of a star or you can give uh, the capital P uh, represent the, the thick plus or you can give uh, the uh, symbol plus also a thin plus uh, you will get it yeah or uh, uh, okay now i'll give you, you explore it lots of options are there i'll give o only so that i'll get a circle the marker we got and the line color is also right and the marker color is also right i want to change the color of this marker marker two colors you will get one is a marker face color and marker edge color that is outlining now i'll just use a marker face color is equal to say i'll use yellow 
yeah y a little bit yeah i'll just run this now you can see here marker face color is changed but marker edge color is still a red only for that if you want to see marker mec marker edge color is equal to i'll give say r r g l give green now run this now you can see here the color is a change and if you want to change the size of the uh, marker we have ms marker size i say i'll give 10 you can just see if you get a big circle yeah now see here we if you want the grids behind this uh, uh, plotting behind this graph you can call the function called a grid you can you can pass the value true also now you can see here we got the grids and that color uh, also you can change it say the grid color you want to make it uh, <coughs> uh, some hexadecimal value I'll give uh, say 888000 some values I have given uh, you can uh, give the hexadecimal value as well I'll just run this you can see the color grid color is a uh, change okay now I the styling also you can do it the grid uh, uh, line styling you want dotted uh, I showed there by giving the shortcut right the colon uh, uh, the dash and all here you can write also D O T T E D. this also you can uh, write it down now you see here that we got the dotted uh, grids yeah instead of this dotted you can pass the the colon as well same thing you will get now same thing if you want to increase the uh, the grid uh, line width lw you can use it and you can uh, increase the width as well lw is equal to say i'll give two you can just observe here the width is uh, increased and if you want to show only the x-axis x-axis the top uh, horizontally you want to show or vertically you want to show you can you can use the uh, axis is equal to like what you want to show like x or y you can pass the value now see here you can you can see only the x uh, axis values uh, grids or if you if you pass uh, the y you'll get only the y axis uh, grids so if you want to add legend i will call the function uh, legend with plt legend function i'm calling for this we have to pass the label so what legend you want that i'll store it in a variable uh, called label like i want to i want uh, to display uh, my graph yeah the equation linear equation that is 2x plus 1 i want this as a legend so i'll pass that label here save it run this now you can see the legend we got it thank you everybody so uh, this is the extension of a sixth year program so first you type the 6th program, then copy the same program, then uh, uh, just do the formatting for a uh, line and that uh, markers. Thank you. Thank you so much.